Welcome to another video tutorial in which we'll teach you the basics about PDF files and how to work with them in MaxQDA. Just like other file formats, PDF files can be imported simply via the menu or drag and drop and opened as usual with a double click. They look exactly the same in MaxQDA as in other PDF readers and can be analysed just like other data. Use these buttons here to scroll through the pages or to adjust the display, for example to crop them to the page width. To navigate through PDF files you can activate the Bookmarks window which shows you any bookmarks in the PDF or, if there are none, the individual pages. There are basically two options for coding PDF files. You can either code the text or you can code rectangular sections of the PDF as in the case of an image. To code the text however, the PDF file must itself incorporate a text layer and there are some notes on this at the end of this video. Apart from this particular feature, working with PDF files is pretty much the same as working with image or text documents. This means that just as with normal text files, you can attach memos and create links Write paraphrases, use the lexical search, or create visualizations. PDF files can sometimes be very large. If you want to analyze very large or a very large number of PDF files, it makes more sense to save them as external files. This keeps your project file small and makes it easier to share in a team. These settings can also be easily adjusted later for each file individually or collectively using the Manage External Files function in the Home tab. Let us now briefly turn to the text layer in PDF files, as I mentioned earlier. PDF files are usually obtained from one of the following three sources. One, by downloading them from an online website, for instance a library. Here the text layer is usually already included. 2. A text layer is also usually automatically included when you create a PDF file yourself, for example with Microsoft Word. 3. If you scan books or magazine articles yourself, there is usually no text layer automatically included. If you want to scan text yourself, please remember that the texts will only become machine readable and processable if you perform a text recognition process or Optical Character Recognition OCR for short, with a special text recognition program, after scanning and before importing them into MaxQDA. The text cannot be highlighted or recognised in a PDF because it's only available as an image. Such PDFs can be coded in MaxQDA just like images. However, you cannot use any functions that are based on text recognition, for example searches in the text or word clouds. But even if the text recognition is successful, the text layer may not always match the visible layer. It is therefore essential to check the quality of the text recognition before you code the text in MaxQDA by selecting a part of the text in the PDF file and then copying and pasting it into a text document. Otherwise you may get an unpleasant surprise later when using the search function or when retrieving your coded segments. And that's it for now, we wish you all the very best with your project.